the late game that wrapped up divisional play. Peyton back as a starter for the first time since week 10. Big Ben with that ailing shoulder. No Antonio Brown, no D'Angelo Williams. First drive of the game. He got a Aaron out, oh, Marshall. Man. First play. Just the, hey, right here, we call that a heat check. I'm going to let you know. Need to back up safeties. Don't play too close. The win might have gotten that ball also. They went three and out. Later on, Pittsburgh's going for it on fourth and one and throw. Throwing it to the end zone. I, I love the fact that Coach Tomlin and, and, and Coach Haley made the decision we're going to be aggressive, even though we're a man down. All talked right, about it. Talked six about up in Denver aggressive. after a pair of field goals. Martavis Bryant. Had a little trouble catching the ball early, but when he was running it, he was great. Man, he stepped up and did a pretty good job today, man. You got to give him credit for the way he played, man. That was a bad man he was replacing. That was a 40-yard run, then two plays later. Fitzgerald Toussaint, who actually played very well during the playoff games. Except for one little play. Pittsburgh ran the ball. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh ran the ball pretty good. The two young backs, backs made some mistakes, but for the most part, played a good game. Uh, Peyton Manning trying to hit Demarius Thomas. He's a 50-50-10 game guy. Got to have those, man. In his defense, the ball was, you know, coming like field equal. And then it's 7-6. to six. Manning overthrows the 88 clubber. Broncos forced to punt on that one. Need those opportunities <laughs> right there in a game like this now. And that's all I'm talking about. Game balls like that, you have to make those plays. Five minutes to go in the first half. Denver incomplete going forward on fourth and three. As the former Steeler, Emmanuel Sanders, couldn't come up with it because Mike Mitchell blocked it. That's a nice, a nice play right there. Just need them catches, man. You need them catches. Those are the ones that get you beat against oh. the wing. Nice meet side blitz. Oh. Then Manning gets drilled right there by Will Allen. Hey, y'all get Brock in here. Keith Butler, the defensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers, did a great job at attacking Manning and the blitzes that he had to see. On to the third quarter. It's a one-point game. Roethlisberger to Martavis Bryant. Give a look. Did Akeem Tlaib get an arm in there early? This is a great play. This is one of the toughest plays in two defense in the NFL, and Akeem did a great job. Manning dropped. James Harrison in his age bracket gets him for a seven yard loss. Then Manning, Jordan Norwood, that overshoots him, so they had to settle for a McManus field goal yet again. On to the fourth, where the Steelers are up 13 12. Biggest play of the game. Fitzgerald Toussaint got to wrap it up, Marshall. Oh, man. Everybody's hopes and dreams is in that football, young man. Just watch Adrian Peterson. That's what they call it, football. Just watch Jeremy Hill. I wish I could say I know how you feel, but I know how you feel. Bradley Roby knocking it out as Denver recovered. Then Manning, Benny Fowler for 31 yards. Boy, hey, hey, boy, I'm telling you, James Harris is coming to get that ball, boy. Four plays later, Manning, <laughs> Sanders, the former Steeler with a stiff arm in the first down. Forget to throw and catch. And then five plays later, the man who's about to join us, C.J. Anderson, with the one-yard plunge. Broncos would go for two and get it. And Peyton's pappy's all proud because his son is leading by seven. Steelers ensuing drive, third and five. Roethlisberger. Looking for Martavis Bryant behind him and incomplete. So it has all come down to this. For the second straight week, the Steelers need to convert on a fourth down to preserve their season. And the best sacking team in the NFL gets to him. Denver's defense gets it done. They will host New England next weekend.